Hi everyone, our topic is the physics of blood pressure and how it affects the fight or flight response. Blood pressure can be written like this with two numbers, for example, 120 over 80. Blood pressure is the pressure we find in the walls of our arteries. The systolic pressure is the pressure found when the ventricles of the heart contract, which is why we have a higher number. The diastolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the ventricles of the heart relax, which is why we have a lower number. Okay, so before we get to the flight or flight response, let's look at the physics of how blood works. Ohm's law for blood flow is F equals delta P over R. F is going to be our blood flow, delta P is going to be our pressure gradient, and R our resistance. The R in our equation is the resistance, basically anything that's making it hard for the blood to flow. The delta P is going to be our pressure gradient, which is the pressure what the pressure it takes for the blood to flow from P1 to P2, from this point to this point. As you can see in this diagram, the F, which is the blood flow, and the R, which is the resistance, are inversely proportional, meaning that when the F goes up, the R goes down, and vice versa, when the R goes up, the F goes down. This is Poiseuille's equation, another important equation for blood pressure. R equals 8 nL pi R to the fourth power. R equals resistance, the weird N is viscosity, L is vessel length, and R is vessel radius. However, the only really important variable here is the radius because the other two do not change significantly. When the radius decreases, the flow decreases. When the radius increases, the flow increases. One of the examples of radius change is during the flight or fight response. So what exactly was going on in Cherie's body when that man was following her and almost fighting her? That was called the fight or flight response. What happens in the fight or flight response is the adrenal glands produce a hormone called epinephrine. Epinephrine is what binds to the beta receptors of our blood vessels. In order for blood to reach the skeletal muscles that Sherry needs for her muscles to run and everything that requires of her, epinephrine binds to the beta receptor allowing these blood vessels to dilate so that blood can get to those muscles that need extra blood. So the blood can flow more efficiently when the radius is a lot more open. In conclusion, physics is what, is what allows the fight or flight response to happen. Because the radius expands, we get more blood flow into our arteries, which affects blood pressure.